continuous functions. Some functions happen to be continuous and some other are not continuous. In fact, continuous is good. Continuous means that small value of the x value, small change of the x value makes small change of the function value. So the idea of continuous function is small change. about small change in the function value. And the best way to explain it is to look at the graph of the function. So here is graphical explanation. Let's say graph, graph of the function is given. And it looks like this. So it may look like Like this. So the idea is that when the function at, uh, continues at a point, so the graph is supposed to be continuous, which means graph has no gap at that point. When the function is continuous, We say not just continuous, but continuous at a certain point. So continuous at a point such as x equals 1 or x equals 2. So the graph, the function, say f of x, is continuous at a point. The graph y equals f of x. Notation of the graph always starts with y equals because y coordinate means the function value. So this graph has no gap at this point. So for example, at this, for this example, there is no gap at x equals 1, because at x equals 1, x equals 1 corresponds to this point on the graph, and the function, the, the graph just goes smoothly through this point, it does not make a gap. So here no gap, in a similar way, here is no gap, here no gap, and there are many points on the graph of a function where the graph has no gap. So we say f of x, or just f, is continuous at, say, x equal 1, x equal 2, etc. Many are x equal 2, x equal 3, x equal 0. There are many points where the function is continuous. On the other side, there are some points where the graph makes a gap. For example, here, what I previously called small gap. And we say that, previously we said that this is a small gap. So in order to graph this, in order to draw the graph, we need to lift uh, the pencil or marker from the from the board to draw the other part of the function, and then continue drawing. So there is a gap, and, and then there is another gap at x equals 
six. So it's the one that I previously called last scale. Now both of them are, are considered gaps. And so, for example, for the large gap, it's more obvious you have to, in order to draw the graph, you can draw it up to here, then you have to lift the marker and then start from here. So you cannot continuously draw the function. So we say the function is not continuous at this point. So there is a gap at x equals 4 and another gap at x equals 6. So f of x is not continuous. In one word it's called discontinuous. At point x equals 4, also at x equals 6. Now, there may be other situations with graph. For example, the graph may make sharp turn like this. But sharp turn like this doesn't break continuity. So we still consider it continuous because you can still draw it like this without lifting your marker and there is no gap at this point. So this point is still considered no gap and therefore this is a point of continuity where the function is continuous. Now there may be also other situations when there is no function value given. For example, let's say that this is 8 and then for example let's say that there is empty dog, that means there is no function value given. By the way, if you remember from algebra, the empty dot like that means that function value is not defined at this point. It may be defined differently, for example, here. So this point means that f of 4 is not, f of 4 is equal to whatever this value is, for example, 1, 2, 3. So f of 4 equals 3. And this kind of notation means that f of 8 is undefined, does not exist, or undefined. Now, regarding continuity, whenever there is a gap, like here or like here, we say that the function is discontinuous at that point. Once again, uh, how does it relate to the original idea? That small change in x value brings about small change in function value. If you consider uh, point 1, so if x changes a little bit away from 1, for example, it becomes 1.1, then function value also changes just a little. But if you consider here, f of 4 is 3, but f of 4.1, for example, or f of 4.01 is determined by this point, which is somewhere around 1, so function value changes drastically from 3 down to 1. So small change in x value brings large change in function value. Same thing occurs here. f of 6 corresponds to this point, which is about 2, and f of 6.1, f of 6 corresponds to this point, which is about 2, and f of 6.1 corresponds to a point somewhere near here, which is about maybe 4 or so. Again, there is very small change in x value that corresponds to large change in function value from, four, from 2 to 4. And this is, uh, when this happens, we call function discontinuous, and this is considered bad. So fu discontinuous functions are bad. Now, yet another situation we have here, when f of 8 is undefined at all. Now, if there is such a situation, you may say, you may, you may argue that here, this situation is very similar to this situation. So we also say the function is discontinuous. This point, uh, function also, graph of the function also has a small gap like here. However, at, there is a difference. At this point, the function value is undefined. And at this point, at x equals 4, function value is defined, it equals 3. Uh, equals three. So, in, in the situation like this, when the function value is undefined, we don't call this uh, we don't call this point the point of discontinuity. We don't say that the function is discontinuous, and we don't say that function is continuous either. So such a point has different names in different math books. Sometimes it's called point a singular point. So sometimes we call it singular point because the function is defined for nearby values, but not exactly at that value. And singular point is not considered point of either continuity or discontinuity. So once again, here is how to determine continuity from graph. Whenever graph looks like a continuous line, and that's where the name comes from, whenever graph looks like a continuous line, even though this line makes make sharp turns, 
At those points, the function is continuous. Whenever there is a gap, but the function value is still defined, or there is a large gap like this, at those points we say that the function is discontinuous. And finally, if there is a gap but the function is not defined at all, then we say that the, fun uh, the function is singular at this point. Some books call it singular, some books don't have any name for that, but in any case we don't call this either continuity or discontinuity. So this is uh, an explanation of continuous function or continuity of a function from a graph.